Willie Herold was born on September 11, 1925, in Lunzenau, a small village in Saxony, in eastern Germany. He joined the Young Volk when he was 10 years old in 1935, but was expelled the next year for skipping service and trying to organize his own group of boys, which was against the regulations. He then joined the Hitler Youth at the age of 14, and for a time he was enthralled by the long nature excursions they took him on, and the various benefits they provided. After completing his primary school education, he began an apprenticeship as a chimney sweep at the age of 15 in the neighboring village of Waldheim, from which he eventually ran away with a friend because he didn't feel like working and wanted to move to America, he was arrested by the Gestapo and sent back to Lunzenau. He eventually completed his apprenticeship in 1943. He did his right labor service on the Atlantic Wall in France from June to September 1943, and three weeks after turning 18, he joined the army and was deployed to Tangermund, not far from Berlin. On September 30, 1943, Herold entered military service. He trained as a paratrooper in Tangermund because of his above average physical fitness. His division was the last to undergo near full paratrooper training, with three months of infantry training and a 16 day parachute course. He was promoted to Lance Corporal after participating in the battles of Netjino and Monte Cassino in early 1944. Herold claimed he was awarded the Iron Cross first, and second class, for supposedly destroying two British tanks, on the beaches of Salerno, the Silver Close Combat Clasp, the Silver Wound Badge, the Parachutist Badge and the Infantry Badge. As of 2023, Records of him receiving these medals haven't been found. In March 1945, Herold's unit retreated from the Netherlands into Germany. In the chaos of the retreat, Herold became separated from his unit in late March 1945, and he was left to travel by himself. In a ruined car that was lying in a ditch, he found the uniform of a highly decorated Luftwaffe captain and assumed the fictional identity of Captain Herold of the 6th Parachute Division. After convincing a major he met at a control point in Ochtrop, near Germany's Dutch border, he received four soldiers under his command. Although he had a core group of 12 people, roughly 60 more would join him and then depart when it was convenient for them. Herold was only asked to provide identification twice despite claiming to be on a special mission from the Führer. Along with numerous scouting missions, Herold also made numerous attempts to engage the enemy, culminating in him and his men joining the unit stationed close to the village of Lauden, which was occupied by the Allies. But this effort failed, and he ordered a retreat when he lost too many men to enemy tank fire. He started to consider ways to recruit more soldiers as he grew frustrated that he lacked the men and equipment necessary to impact the enemy. He met local garrison commander Jan Bud in the village of Savold, in northwestern Germany, who told Herold that hundreds of former Wehrmacht soldiers were waiting for the war to end in the penal camp Passchendorf or or two. This was his discovered a chance to address his personal issue and made his way to the camp. On April 11, 1945, Herold's group arrived at the Aschendorf or or two prison camp, which contained mostly German inmates. There he was asked by one of the camp supervisors, Karl Schutt, to judge a group of 30 inmates which had escaped during a forced march to Collinghorst and had been recaptured. Herold ordered five of them to be shot, and was eventually stopped by a judicial official named Friedrich Hansen, who asked Herold to obtain permission from Dr. Richard Thiel, the head of the central administration of the prison camps, having failed to get permission from Dr. Thiel. Herold visited Nazi district leader Gerard Buscher, who got the Gestapo involved. Through Buscher, the Gestapo granted Herold permission to execute the 30 escaped inmates. Over the next two weeks, Herold would also order the execution of a large number of political prisoners from a list of 400 names compiled by Dr. Thiel. Herold also chose a large number of inmates, equipped them with uniforms and weapons and, dispatched them to the town of Lear to join the Wehrmacht, 
but this plan was unsuccessful since the troops surrendered to advancing Polish forces. On April 19, 1945, British bomber planes attacked a nearby anti-aircraft battery, and a few bombs hit the camp, destroying it completely. Herold recruited 12 prisoners as his bodyguards, they traveled north, terrorizing people as they went from town, to town. They executed five Dutchmen accused of spying after removing them from a nearby prison, making them dig their own graves, and hanging a farmer who had flown a white flag. He and his men were arrested in a hotel on April 30th. He was put on trial on May 3, 1945, but the trial was interrupted and he was conditionally released, thanks to the combined efforts of the Kriegsmarine chief, Justice for the East Frisian region. Horst Frank and Admiral Kurt Wehr. Herold was brought to a special unit, where he was warmly welcomed, but he swiftly left under the cover of darkness and traveled to the port city of Wilhelmshaven. Under his real name, he got a soldier's paybook and discharge papers before assuming work as a chimney sweep. Herold was arrested by Royal Navy personnel on Wednesday, May 23, 1945, for the theft of a loaf of bread and was sent to sea ice east of Agen. During the summer of 1945, the British investigated Herold, working under the impression that his victims had been citizens of Allied countries. On February 1, 1946, Herold and 50 other inmates were forced by the British occupying forces to dig up the remains of the inmates murdered at Aschendorf Ermor Camp, 195 bodies were excavated. In August 1946, Herold and 12 others were tried in Oldenburg by the British, overseen by Colonel Herbert Bone. Herold stood out for his relaxed demeanor and lack of remorse. On August 29, 1946, Herold and six other CO defendants, Karl Hagerwald, Bernhard Meyer, Karl Schutt, Joseph Hewler, Hermann Brandt and Otto Paler, were sentenced to death. Herold in particular was held responsible for the murder of 111 people. On November 14, 1946, Herold and the five other defendants were executed by guillotine by Involfein Boutel prison. He was 21 years old. Willy 